Martin Tyler here for you, along with Alan Smith, of course, and our football today is from the Premier League. And it's Chelsea today against Tottenham. Chelsea! And Chelsea line up today. Number 13, Thibaut Courtois. Number 15, Victor Mose. Number 28, Aspili Quetta. Number 27, Andreas Christiansen. Number 2, Antonio Rudiger. A couple of clever players we can focus on here. One on either side. Very good on the ball, Alan. Certainly are. Looks like they've got a ball on a string at times. Never gets too far away from them. They really can embarrass defenders with that kind of ball control. Pedro, number nine. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. This is today's Tottenham Hotspur team. Hugo Lori starts in goal. Kieran Trippier starts with Ben Davis as the fullbacks. Eric Dyer plays alongside Harry Winks in the middle of the park. Harry Kane is the main striker today. Alan, I know this ground has changed since you played here. They squared it off and encapsulated more of the atmosphere it's probably more intimidating for visiting players than it was in your day yeah it probably is actually i mean it always did have a good atmosphere but now you could argue it's even better it's a great place to come and play football and the pitch is so much better than it used to be in my day the referee here is lee mason and off we go for this great clash between chelsea and spurs Here's Winks. Kieran Trippier. Could be dangerous. Kane. Song. Kane. Back with Song. I don't think the coach would be too happy with this. Trying to play in the defensive third quite as much as he's doing. Cesc Fabregas. To switch on the attacking power in this situation. Morata. Conte. Paragas. Excellent work with the tackle. Song. It's Harry Winks. It's Eric Dyer. Chelsea have got possession back. Cesc Fabregas of the opposition there to make the interception when they play their kind of football Tottenham are a joy to watch stopped emphatically and just as well the approach play looks very encouraging Morata. Here's Winks. Here's Ali. It's Eric Dyer. Attack it now. Hey. Says Fabregas. Morata. Now Fabregas.
Bryant's interception. Davis. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Morata. What's the attacking here? Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. Well, it was a great stop by Hugo Lloris, and we can show it to you one more time. Oh, his reactions were just second to none. It's Harry Kane. It's Eric Dyer. It was good progress with this attack. The opponent wanted to get the ball, he wasn't going to let him have it. Moses, the Chelsea system, gets players forward in the wide areas. It's working well for them. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Well, he was in the right place at the right. He can put them in front. <laughs> Headed past it, a shrewd one. Says Fabregas. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Morata! Added time. Here's Dyer. Here's Ali. There's some potential in this move. Challenges for the ball. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. Well, perhaps with Eden Hazard, Alan, as the half time whistle has gone. We can look back on that first half. He hasn't had quite the impact that we expected. Room for improvement, I think you could say, from this lad. to a chance it's good attacking play compliment the defender but not the player trying to cross it here's Ali here's Dyer here's Winks Davis coming on strong looking to play their way through now here's the chance to get in the cross that's great defending there stopping that attack to Moses. Cesc Fabregas. Pedro. Attacking well here. Christian Eriksen. It's Harry Winks. Good skill and strength to hold off the challenger. Deli Alli. They gave it straight to him, didn't they? I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Very good movement from Spurs on the attack. Strong challenge. Hazard. Morata.
Here's Dyer. Here's Winks. Christian Eriksen. Hey. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Marcus Alonso. Hazard. I think the coach will be considering his options on the bench. Ball is taken. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Another opportunity wasted by this team, it's still level in the match. For Chelsea. Chelsea ready to bring on a substitute. To be replaced by number 22. Conte. Even has it. On the attack here. Forward stop from an effort from a long, long way out. And here we are with Tottenham trying with all their might to get in front. Is Ali? And here are Spurs stylishly going forward. Nice bit of interplay between these two. Well, how has he done that? He's cut out the most dangerous of attacks at the most dangerous of times. Shreds it through. He's in. Morata. Morata. Don't you just love football? Late drama. And now they have the lead. Well, no better time. I don't think there's any way back now for the opposition. That looks like the winner. Chelsea. I'd have thought they couldn't do it, but they've done it, it seems. They have got that resilience in the ranks. You can never discount them. Well, I want to see this again, this goal. Chelsea coming off the pitch. Number four, six hundred coming onto the pitch. We had seemed to be stuck in, in that, a bit of a stalemate, the truth. But this very, very late goal has changed that. They threw men forward and they've got the reward. Davis. Well, it seems gone up for two minutes. Chelsea attacking here. And he's trying to slip it through. Plenty of times before. Conte! Well, that would have settled the game, Alan, I think. To go uh, two in front at this late stage. Well, I think he thought he'd scored there. Took it a little bit too easy, a bit too casual. And he doesn't have to this game to win it. This game is proof of that. He certainly does. A little score line. The top corner of the screen. That matters more than position. I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Yeah, and a good performance and... Uh, Snatch that late goal to grab the win. And last of all, Christian Eriksen was a frustrating game for him. He really couldn't get into it and make the sort of impact he was hoping for. It's a big part of why they lost today, I think. 